Hello. Today we're going to do another recipe from the all new desserts cookbook. Favorite recipes from the home economics teachers. Uh, we're doing a honey gingerbread cake, which has been a favorite of ours. Because? Because it just tastes good. <laughs> Well, what's the unique thing about this cake? Well, there's no sugar in it. That's the unique thing. It's got honey and molasses. And that's the only sweetener in it. To start off with, we got two and three quarters cup of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of ginger, one heaping teaspoon of cinnamon, which is my, my addition, and I also add on um, mine is uh, nutmeg about this is less than a quarter teaspoon and we will take all of those and we will sift those together and it calls for one cup of oil I use butter melted one cup of buttermilk if you don't have buttermilk you can take milk and add a teaspoon of vinegar white vinegar to it and you'll have sour milk which is Same will work thing. just as well one egg, three quarters cup of honey, and three quarters cup of molasses. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna sift the flour and the dry ingredients. Into a bowl and set that aside. I have done this without sifting before and it turned out just fine. Just you have a new sifter and try and try it out, huh? <laughs> I don't get to use the sifter that often. <laughs> I just make sure there's no clumps and stuff in there. Okay, set that aside. There it is mixed. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take the egg into the bowl. We're going to start beating it and then we're going to slowly pour in the honey, stream in the honey. Oh uh, wait, did you tell them what you, how you prepped your measuring cups? Oh, I took my measuring cups and I sprayed some oil in that so that they would, everything, everything would just out. slip right yeah. out. Okay, cream your egg and oil. So we'll start with that. Get that egg rolled up. We'll put our oil, oil, oil or butter. And I'm going to. I find they used to call it oil. You cream this until it's light and thick. Okay, now we're going to put our oil in the no, it's not too bad. Okay. That looks good to me. So we're going to start by streaming in. We're going to stream in our honey. Now we're going to stream in the molasses. over to a spatula. We're going to 
mix this a little bit. <laughs> And we're going to alternate the flour with the buttermilk. And we're stirring well after each addition. Somebody wants in. Well, go ahead and let her in. See what we can do there without bumping the camera, huh? Right? But she bumps the camera. That's mixed in well. Now we're going to add about half of the milk and mix that in. Did you spray that? No, did you need the oven turned on? Yes, 325. 325, wow. With 350 on ours. Okay. Okay, now we're going to add about a third, a third of the half of the flour that's left. We will bake this at uh, 325 for 40 minutes or until the cake is done. And then when it's done baking, you let it set in the pan for five minutes, and then you turn it out onto a wire rack to cool until it's completely cooled. You can serve this with uh, whipping cream. I prefer some, I prefer cream cheese frosting on it, but. You can frost it, you don't have to. You could just powder sugar it. Mm hmm. You used to think baking a cake was really hard, but as you can see, this isn't hard at all. Milk's incorporated. We'll put the rest of the flour in there. Then we will pour it into a greased. 13 by 9, 9 by 13, <laughs> baking, grease baking pan. And this one here I think is a 9 by 14 almost. Oh, I'll get that. I was afraid you would have As with my other recipes, I will have the recipe written recipe down below, and it will be given every the, <coughs> excuse me credit to the person. And I think she was out of Missouri, the lady that did this recipe. But it will all be down below in the description. And there you go. There's the cake all mixed together and ready to put into the pan. To a grease pan. Okay, there's a grease pan. Now, if you don't have buttermilk, I have used just milk before, but um, just add a teaspoon of vinegar. You getting old, you're repeating yourself. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just making sure. Oh, okay. Me, I used a powder. I used powdered buttermilk, mixed it up, and made a milk out of it. Well, you know, okay. showing you the butt of the bowl. Yeah, well. But there you go. Uh, yeah, you're coming out the side. <laughs> and then you just spread it out in your pan. And we'll be back once this is all baked, baked and what about time. I already said, but cool. it's you bake it at 325 for about 40 minutes. It is an odd thing too. The temperature usually they're warmer than that. Mm -hmm. Maybe not a lot, but.
And if you if you're on Celsius or Mark Six or Mark, I mean Gas Mark, then I suggest you go online and find it and <laughs> convert it. Don't um, guess. Don't guess it. You don't want the responsibility being wrong. Yeah. Okay. It's all we'll, online. We'll be back when it's done baking. All right, here it is, just out of the oven. It's been sitting for five minutes. Um, it fell a little bit in the middle. I don't really know why, but, you know, it's not the first time. It won't be the last. It'll still taste good. Yep. That I definitely know. So now we are going to flip it over and let it completely cool now. And came right out. <clears throat> We'll see you later. <laughs>